is coming. Welcome to Language 3.0. So on this part of video, we will be going through on the demo play of the two new characters that are being released on April 2021, Emperor Autocrito and his manipulator Lucretia. So of course we will be saving the best for the last so on this part of video we'll be only going through the demo play of Emperor or the Cradle and on the next part of video we will be going through on Lucretia. Okay, so before we begin we're gonna have a quick summarize again and some skin looking skills and personal stats and soldier units and faction looking for old cradle so right so basically the second part of his name is like kratos without an s so it become just auto cradle all right and all right we'll look at the much slimper stuff think costume change so yeah, this is his echo of light skin this is how it looks like Lucretia. Yep, so basically he has some well crazy fascinations with Lucretia too. Yo, Autokura be some of the actions his characters will be doing in his echo of light scheme mode. So alright going through class so probably he can be a lancer or swordsman or emperor I'm gonna call it and yep so he has well, much like Bernhard, he both of his path, main path, are infantry path, and one is a tank, a lancer path. However, he has much more tanking abilities um, in comparing to Bernhard. So, right, his talent will be known as King Coherent. All right, so is very quick, simple and short, that's what I liked about him, alright? So, when going to battle, increase aside from HP or stats by 20%. Okay, enemies, tree squares or tiles around him, for every movement they make, damage Autocrato will be taken will be reduced by 4%, so maximum reduction of 20% and next up we're going to look at his skills all right he has sword dance okay and shield bash so i'll be quickly going through with any repeated new skills and i'll be saving the sorry i'll be going through the old skill quickly and i'll be saving the new skill later so all right he has Hegemony, Iron Grip, so basically it's a tanking skill, parry, okay, sword energy or, yep, I'm just gonna go with sword aura or sword energy. So, alright, and looking at the new skills, alright. So, key. Kelpo, okay, this is a word where you can either translate as insight or instigate. I think insight goes better here after doing a little bit of checking, alright. So, as a passive, when you actively do damage on enemy or just after do dealing damage to enemy, place a uh, inside counter on them at the end of a turn. If they have not 
move at all, they will be taking a face damage that is three times off autocrat autocrato attack. However, for every movement they make, the damage will be reduced, removed by 0.5. So a maximum of six step will remove all three times and for every step will be 0.5 times so on a normal situation the least uh, enemy can take is at least 0.5 times because most hero movement the max you can go for horse or flyer will be five steps and this effect will last for two turns and cannot be dispelled so this is kind of cool The right excel. Okay, attack a single enemy, do 1.5 times damage. If this attack has not been guarded after battle, a teleport effect will occur. It will cause the enemy units to be teleport backward in a straight line to a furthest of three square or towers. Alright, this will be Tuan Duo Absurd. Okay. Attack in a straight line. And target a single enemy, do 1.5 times damage. After battle, steal a maximum of 3 bar from the enemy and cause pollution shifting effect and it will kick the enemy back three squares or towel hmm. pretty nice all right the tree c so it will be roughly translated as the order of subversion so all right there's an aoe skills is a well three by six so you're gonna get three by seven after attaching balance blade to him but if not, well, by default, there's a very long range. Okay. Attack 3 lines. All enemies deal 0.36 times AoE damage. For every enemy hit, it will cause their position to be shifted. And only allow them to move in a way that they can only move in a straight direction. Meaning they can only go up down or left right and only last for a turn and cannot be dispelled and if this turn or, or if this attack hit three or more enemies the cooldown of the skills will be reduced by three turns so right then soldier unit so it's gonna have skeleton horse rider berserker Heavy Infantry Okay, Death Knight, Royal Knight and Dark Knight and whoa, one of my favorite uh, Lava Golem, yep, <laughs> almost forgot the name So alright, we've kindly come to the end of the introduction of everything and now we'll proceed with the demo play and yep apparently i have no more tickets i well i'm not able to summon either of kratos sorry kratos autocrato and lucretia so that's kind of sad so i will be skipping the story because it's just talking about him after death and while well, alhaza is trying to revive and resurrect and control him but well here we go So alright, apparently our hazard is forcing him to kill a, a illusion of Lucretia in in a bit to brainwash him. So yep. So it's gonna be pretty straightforward because all his shit is very easy to understand. And yeah, apparently his real name is Firmon instead of Autocradle. Alright, I will be placing Scarlet in these positions and attack Lucretia first. 
彼女の計画を進めろ。そう。そうです。キューギブンというのは、インサイト。いや、ダフリンが言うと、ダフリンが言うと、ダフリンが言うと、ダフリンが言うと、ダフリンが言うと、ダフリンが言うと、ダフリンが言うと、ダ So, observe and his tree C. So, alright, I'll be using his tree C right away so you guys can see. Look at the range, and we'll be switching the positions of every enemy. So, okay, if you guys are watching, remember the enemy position before and after so you can have an easier understanding of what is going on. So, all enemies' position has been changed. Okay, and right now you look at it. The only way they can move will be up, down, left, right. So, they can walk diagonally. So, in a way, their movement are kind of being trapped. So, alright, I'm gonna cast the AoE from the skeleton to well, further reduce their movement. So we can place his inside passive skill to its best ability. Alright. And now going in well with the shot. Shiva, what is it? I'm going to be a good guy. So, apparently, as you can see, the fixed damage is kind of high. Okay, we will be trying to finish off Lucretia. But do you know that whenever there is a puppet alive for Lucretia, she will survive a death blow. But, well, I have Dark Knight, so apparently, I give her fixed damage again after the death blow. So. So, right, I'll spam the three C skills again. And if you have an enemy unit behind the Fisher ally, which is the puppet, so you do not. See the ability of position shifting with the skill of observe. So right. Yep. So El Hazard is trying to control him, but he proved that his his love for Lucretia is greater than El Hazard. So just to show you guys his true name. Oh, sorry. Um, nope. I missed it. I kind of skipped it. So yeah, his full name is Pheromon something something. So yeah. Okay, don't worry, guys. When the SCA or global versions come, you will get to see it. The main thing for this video is well, the demo play. <laughs> Alright, we have come to the end. Remember to like and subscribe my video. We will see you guys on the next demo play for the Empire Witch Lucretia. Okay, this is coming. Signing off. Goodbye.